hi viewers welcome to my channel this video tutorial is all about projecting survey plans and overlaying on google earth so the essence of this video is to primarily check if your survey that have been designed on autocad is well situated on the said property so this is a survey plan and it is designed on autocad already so i want to see if it is well situated on the said property so to do just that this all you have to do is to retrace the boundary points of the pillar by using the polyline tool on autocad so we want to extract just the boundary points we do not need the informations of the rest of the plan so the boundary point has been retraced so i'm just going to click on it right click then come to clipboard then i'm going to cut it okay so when i'm done with that i'm going to open a new drawing environment on autocad okay then the next thing is to paste your original coordinates by right clicking on the work environment then go to clipboard then go to paste to original coordinates then click on it then when you click on it you do zoom to extent so this is a traced boundary point and this is what we are interested in the so what we want to see is the property boundary if it is well situated on the said property all right so when you are done with extracting the boundary property you need to save this particular job with another file name so i'm just going to save this with another file name by clicking on ctrl s on my keyboard then i'm just going to call this chat then i'm going to click on save so when it is saved you must close it close it on autocad so that it can appear on other software so you come to your global mapper then you can go to file go to open data files then you navigate to where your saved autocad job is so i want to look for it so this is it here chat then i'm going to click on open then here i'm going to click on ok so this is the major important thing so i want to define the projection system which this job was done so this job was done somewhere in lagos nigeria so the lagos nigeria uses the vector 4 which is synonymous to the MENA utm right so here i am going to click on the projection here that i'm going to click on utm so guys you are expected to know the projection system which the job was done on all right so if your job is done on nigerian national origin you are expected to use the travels mercator okay so in subsequent videos i'm going to show you on how to define the projection system for nigerian national origin on global mapa however in the course of this video we are using the utm so you click on the utm then you come to the zone you check the zone so i'll be checking the zone of this particular survey so it is zone 31 so the datum is nigeria mina all right then these parameters are already there then the next thing is to click on ok so have you seen it the projection system must be well defined so when it's done you click on ok so this is the job that has been done on mina the survey job the survey plan then the next thing i'm going to do is to export to kml so that i can see where it falls on google earth so i'm going to come to layer then you come to export layers to new file then here if yours is not showing kml stroke kmz you click on it you are going to see different formats you can export your vector survey plan so i'll be using the kml stroke kmz all right then click on ok then here you click on ok as well so here you are going to name the file so here i'm going to call this 
charting. So you make sure you know the folder is entering, then you click on save. So when you are done, you are expected to close the Group and Mapper window. Then you have to navigate to where the job is on your desktop. So it's on jobs. This is the folder. I saved it. So I'm going to scroll down to where charting is. So you can see this is charting and this is the KM L K M Z Goet file. So I'm just going to click on that. So make sure your system is connected to an active internet before you open that. So then you click, you double click on the KML file to open it on Google Earth. So let's see where it is going to launch us. So let's see where it is going to launch us on the property which is somewhere in Lagos, Nigeria. So make sure you've just followed the steps we displayed. So this is a property here and it is getting clearer and more clearer. So let it become more clearer so that we can see. Okay, all right. So as you can see, this is a property and um, it might be definitely exact. As you can see, it is fenced. So the property is fenced, so this is the property here down to this region and down to the back all right so this is how to preliminary overlay your survey plan by projecting using global mapper then down to google ads please if you watch this video to this extent do where to hit on the subscribe icon and turn on your notification so that you can keep getting valuable content as we keep uploading our tutorial videos thank you so guys that is all in the course of this video in projecting your survey plans and overlaying on google earth if you find this video helpful please do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification to keep getting valuable content that will help you grow spatially thank you see you next time